Hi Gemini and welcome to your soulmate reading. In this reading we are going to reveal the destiny you and your soulmates are meant to share and experience this life journey. So we're going to start off by pulling just an overall energy, a message from spirit about your soulmate connection. And this can be a soulmate you've already met or this may be speaking to a soulmate who is going to be coming into your life. So let's see what spirit has to say Gemini. That is your artwork for the message and just see whatever it is that you pick up on from this image. It's like a guardian angel over your connection, over your love, if you ask me. So let's see what it says. Twin flames, your passion ignites. Look at that. Look at that. Yes, sharing the same heart. This is your true soulmate, your one, the energy coming through this reading. This is not a soulmate that you're meant to have, you know, just a very long-term romantic connection with. This is your one and that angel that guards over both of you. Wow, your twin flame, your true soulmate. So let's pull a card to look at past life energy the two of you shared and see how that may correlate to different lessons and experiences that are unfolding this life journey. Imprisonment or slavery. Wow. Gemini, you and this soulmate in a previous life together really shared a quite oppressive journey, okay? And imprisonment or slavery can unfold in so many different ways. I mean, if you just look at history, you know, in all parts of the world. So um, I'm going to be a bit broad on this, okay? It's just both of you had this beautiful love for each other and you were an incredible support system for each other through a very difficult oppressive time oppressive journey and you know this wasn't um, your whole experience of life but it feels like there was a large portion of your life journey where there was some sort of, of oppression um, and the two of you really bonded together and were a you know, system of strength and support and love despite uh, everything that was going on externally, what you guys were suffering, what you guys were facing, and you created a bond that is something I've never picked up on before in, in, a, in a reading, okay? Um, because of just how heavy this feels, it's like you were the the light in the darkness for them and they were the light in the darkness for you and you got each other through this this part and i do like spirit gives me like this image of you two like as the, this old couple okay it's very like fuzzy but it's like this old couple embracing in this beautiful hug so towards the end of your life journey and you guys had a very long life journey there was liberation there was freedom there was great happiness okay you and this person oh the love that you shared is unmatched it, it's the true thing it, it's more real than anything I've felt before in a reading I promise you that my gosh um, the true essence of what this energy is right here and it's because of the struggles that you guys endured in this past life together and it created a bond truly unbreakable and you both reached a level of unconditional love that's hard for anybody to achieve and this was real okay this was real oh that felt so powerful to me Gemini let's pull some cards and look at who you are this life journey who they are this life journey and the current energy that exists between the two of you at the time that you are viewing this reading or you know if you've yet to meet this soulmate this may be um, you know an experience that you have with them upon your initial connection and meeting with each other so and you assign which side is which okay
one of you is coming through as the ace of pentacles a true gem real solid stable let me be there for you let me do for you let me share with you let me create with you let me build with you i'm all in 100 percent i really want to manifest an empire with you because this is the ace of pentacles so that is one side and the other side is coming through as the three of gems which would be the three of pentacles so this is excellent this is somebody who is like i will do what it takes for this connection i will make it work i want to also build with you and create with you and grow with you oh my goodness gemini this is beautiful this is beautiful you both are true gems true gems one of a kind and the bond that you share is so special it is out of this world look at this we've got the empress creativity this is the energy that exists between the two of you you couldn't ask for better you know most people would be like oh no i want the lovers or i want the ace of cups uh, -uh. the empress major arcana stable fertile energy that has unlimited potential for growth and expansion it is safe it is secure it is loving it is nurturing it is mutual okay this is so beautiful oh my gosh gemini you have the jackpot of loves this lifetime with this soulmate no question this is your true love your true one and what you guys experienced in your previous lifetime was really intense and through that intensity it only made you both grow ever closer ever stronger in your love like you guys just held each other up if, if you would not have had this connection through this experience you both would have faltered and, and faded away okay but because of how deep your emotions and your connection for each other it just went oh you kept each other going you kept each other alive you, you know the love it, it this is like true love the epitome of unconditional love and so many people will never touch on this okay in, in a lifetime it, the purity of this the realness of it you can't pretend this you can't manufacture this it's through experience and only having each other that creates that kind of bond and you guys did it and like I said by the end of your days and you had a very long life journey the two of you it just embraced um, happy loving each other oh, it's like you're on this um, like hill okay and almost like a ocean in the backdrop and ice it's like an overcast day okay and I see this couple but like I said I the only thing I know is they're they're elderly it's very very fuzzy but in an embrace of like we made it we did it and your love beautiful till the end of your days okay and that love is the foundation of your experience this life journey where you are free of this sort of um, experience and you have the chance to fully grow and blossom within each other through this beautiful love connection Gemini this is something quite special oh my goodness let's pull some cards and see how this life journey goes oh I hope there's not a bunch of bumps in the road because oh you guys truly love each other no question and and the energies I'm seeing is like I'll, I'll do whatever it takes I'll do whatever it takes So we have emotional baggage, incomplete, reaching out, our memories, karmic flame love. Okay, Gemini. So, I do see a little bumpy here. I'm sure you see it too. Um, there is definitely, at some point, um, this. I see this two ways, actually. 
some of you, um, upon your initial meeting and connection, one of you or both of you is carrying some emotional baggage connected to a karmic relationship, like really had their heart broken, really struggling to heal and move beyond those energies, okay? So either one or both of you experienced that before union. And so when you originally come together, there's too much interference of these unresolved emotions within the connection, which creates a separation. But through that, there is definitely a piece of your heart missing and a piece of their heart missing. And, you know, whoever has this karmic going on the strongest is the one that's going to eventually reach out to mend things because it, the love is just too true. The bond goes too deep. And, you know, the one who uh, is struggling with this uh, uh, unresolved emotions with the karmic, um, once they truly connect here and then have a separation, they realize, oh my gosh, this is not where I belonged. This is where I belonged. And they want to, um, you know, get back to it. Now, for others of you, the way I see this going is maybe um, when we were together, there was some sort of either fallout and we went our separate ways and one or both of you got into a relationship with other people, or there could have been some sort of third party uh, interference in which caused you guys to separate, okay? So any situation where there is emotional baggage coming in, third party interference during the relationship or new relationships after a split, those are all karmic, okay? Those are all going to be karmic and that karmic energy comes in to really grow and shape the person um, in that connection, okay? So Again, this is general, it could go either way. Whoever is dealing um, with the karmic energy or comes into this relationship with the emotional baggage from a past karmic, it's because they had a lot to learn and, and grow and evolve into from the experiences with that person, okay? A karmic is one of your best teachers. That is the truth. They're no fun, it sucks, it hurts, it's intense, but they're one of your best teachers if you catch the lesson. and. Um, so if this is your soulmate that, you know, had the karmic, they're, they're going to get the lesson. It's going to be like, boom, okay? They're going to come back here. I see that, you know, reaching out because I can't let our memories go. And, and my heart's always going to be empty and incomplete without you in it, okay? Um, so any sort of karmic situation is, is eventually going to fade out once the person in it receives the lesson that they're meant to learn and that lesson is only to shape them grow them and evolve them into a better version of themselves to be a better romantic partner in this true love true soulmate connection okay so um, just depending on where you fall in that don't worry about it um, it's going to resolve itself and you've just got to trust the journey and you know ask the angel that watches over this love this romance call upon that angel for guidance because it's there there is an angel that oversees this journey this is a very special soul contract you and this person and you both have a lot that you're meant to grow and evolve into through this connection all right it's beautiful gemini this is truly beautiful it's just the only thing i see again is somebody either has some uh, emotional baggage around a karmic coming into this connection or there's some sort of karmic interference at some point in the journey or if you guys just have a, a an argument of falling out go separate ways one of you may end up dating a karmic and just look at the karmic as a teacher okay they need to learn that lesson or if you're in that karmic and you are coming to the realization of who your true soulmate is you've got to look at, at the karmic as your greatest teacher what am i meant to learn from this how am i meant to grow from this person and don't get caught up in the the shadow energies the the negative the lower aspect of that situation you know look to the higher perspective what is this teaching me how is this growing me even if it's your soulmate that is dealing with that karmic energy or is still trying to, you know, um, heal from some emotional baggage of a karmic of the past. You've got to ask this angel, what is that teaching my soulmate? You know, what are they meant to learn and, and evol evolve and grow into? And what should I do? What's your direction and guidance for me at this time? And this angel will answer you. I'm telling you, this is a very, very special love right here. Okay, let's pull some tarot.
ten of shells success yes this emotional baggage this karmic this will be overcome okay it absolutely will you are true as soulmates you are meant to be together all right you created a bond in lifetimes before that is truly unbreakable two of shells look at that romance under incomplete it's like your heart will never be complete without them their heart will never really be complete without you and you're reaching out four of wings which would be the four of swords this is um, after I've had some time to think about it and see things from a different perspective that's when they will reach out to you or that's when you will reach out to them just depending on how you resonate with this reading and under our memories we have the seven of wings which would be the seven of swords so whoever came into this connection with the emotional baggage is eventually going to feel very remorseful for it, very wrong for it, okay? Um, the one who played into karmic interference with while the connection was going is going to have a lot of regret and remorse. Um, if you guys separated without karmic influence, whatever it is that they said or did that caused the separation, they're going to feel a lot of remorse about it because your memories they're they're untouchable the bond that is there you can't describe it neither one of you can but it, it's like you could be offered like somebody could come into your life who is considered a perfect 10 on every level physically um, materially emotionally spiritually mentally like they just got it all across the board everything 1000 percent that person could be offering their heart, their cup to you, the whole world to you, but it wouldn't matter because the love, the, the true soul bond you have with this soulmate overrides it all. And the same goes for them, okay? The same goes for them. It, it's not about 3D at all. It's very 5D, and that 5D connection is unmatched by any other karmic or any other um, soulmate connection of their soul tribe you are it they are it for you true love true soulmates and so what you guys share will never leave either one of you and nothing else will compare or come close to it wow this is a, a pretty strong deep connection it feels very intense for me gemini seven of shells look at look right there illusion the karmic is just an illusion to bring a great lesson right there spirit confirmed it right there okay so that's the purpose of that and just you know depending on where you're at in your life journey um, with this person is going to be how you resonate with this reading okay and again some of this is they you or they come in with some emotional baggage about a karmic of the past or for some of you, there is some sort of a third party karmic interference during the connection. Okay. And then for others of you, it's like something else separated you. You went your separate ways and one of you is involved with this karmic at this time. And the angel here wants you to know that the reason for the karmic is there is a deeper lesson that needs to be learned. And the pain and the destruction that comes with that is not something that can happen in this connection. Like this needs to remain at a certain level of purity. So you, if this is them, you are not meant to teach them the lesson this karmic is. Okay. And if it's you with this karmic, your soulmate is not the one that's meant to teach you the lesson you're learning through your karmic. Okay. It's all about energy and vibration. So this is sacred love. Nothing else will compare. It's just this lesson needs to be learned. And then I see you guys coming back together quite, quite blissfully, okay? Or truly overcoming and this emotional baggage healing. So for you guys, I am going to draw just a few more cards because this goes so, so deep. I wish I could articulate it better than I am because it just, it's so strong for me. Crazy chemistry, building dreams together, and dishonesty and mixed signals. Okay. Yep, that makes sense with this reading. So listen, 
both of you, regardless of where you're at on this journey within, see this connection as like the one, okay? And just depending on what separated you or what emotional baggage is going on is truly contingent on the timing in which all of this resolves, okay? There's dishonesty and mixed signals why this third car, this third karmic, this third party karmic, um, you know, relationship or emotional baggage is worked through. There's a lesson within that, okay? But here it is. You both really want to build your dreams together with each other. Um, not only is this like soul bond there that's out of this world, there's also crazy chemistry that exists between the two of you, okay? So Gemini, this is truly your one. It just looks like somebody is working on a karmic, okay? Next card out would be um, inescapable connection. Not surprised to see that. True forgiveness, that's what would have to happen um, for you guys to fully reunite. You know, somebody has to deeply, deeply forgive the other and personal life path journey. Yeah, um, this is talking about, you know, the karmic lesson that somebody's got to learn and, and figure out. Okay, and once that happens, the dishonesty, the mixed signals, all of that fades away, Gemini, truly. Okay, so let's pull you some soulmate messages as advice. Love overcomes all obstacles. A change in attitude is all it takes to turn things around. Trust in love's power. It will transform you and the one you love. All will soon clear. Oh, that's beautiful, Gemini. Let's see what else. Your soulmate's love surrounds you this very moment. Stop and fill it. Unconditional love glowing through the eternal flame of oneness. A spiritual union of two souls radiating light for the entire world to feel. If that does not describe this connection and soul bond, I don't know what does. Wow, there you go. All right, and one final one. The quality of your thoughts equals the quality of life you experience. Thoughts are living energies that have an enormous influence on what you attract into your life. Thank love, and that is what you will attract. So um, we've got two focuses on the mental body. Gemini, um, I know that you guys are the rulers of the mental realm, but try not to obsess and overthink about this connection. It's there. You guys have a soul contract. What's meant to happen is, is going to be. It's just about timing, okay? And you've got to trust the process. You've got to trust the soul bond you share. And you've also got to temper and balance your thoughts and lead them to a higher place. This is your true love. Call upon that angel that oversees this connection. All right, so those are your messages, Gemini. I am sending you guys lots of love and light. Take care.